Hey guys, Django here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the American B25 J20 Mitchell sitting at 4.3 battle rating and a very interesting bomber in the American line. I like this bomber a lot because it has offensive armament as well as a nice array of turrets, let's say. And uh, yeah, it is a very nice defensible bomber but even with that at a 4.3 battle rating the opposition you get and the armament of the approaching fighters is very lethal and it is difficult to play a bomber these days but one with offensive guns at least gives you the opportunity to defend yourself more rigorously than if you would only have turrets Anyway, the maximum speed in this plane at sea level is 413 kilometers an hour without web and 427 with web. At 4500 meters, still go up to 351 kilometers an hour without web and 365 with web. And finally, at 6500 meters, still go up to 290 kilometers an hour without web and 292 with web. The web doesn't really function anymore at higher altitudes and the engines will have already been cooked, let's say. It's very easy to cook your engines at the higher altitudes and uh, if you use web your engines will quickly die. So the overheating is terrible at high altitudes but it's, it's manageable at the lower altitudes, let's say. The top speed in a dive in this plane is 550 kilometers an hour before it redlines and 590 before it rips apart. The control stiffening... <laughs> Well, it already starts immediately. This, the, plane, the roll rate on this plane is terrible. In a straight line at 500 meter altitude, you already will have trouble rolling with this plane. It's very difficult. It loses altitude very quickly when you start rolling with it. And uh, if you're too close to the ground and try to roll, you already crash into the ground. So you need altitude to use the roll rate in this plane and use it in a half dive, just like we did here. The stall speed in the plane is 175 kilometers an hour, which is actually quite nice for such a huge plane. Pretty cool, feels a little bit like an attacker in that sense. The firepower is good, the plane has 6 forward facing 50 cals with 400 rounds per gun. It also runs with 2 double 50 cal turrets with 1000 rounds per gun and it has 3 50 cal turrets with 800 rounds per gun. The plane has a wide range of bomb options in combination with several bombs. 100 kilo bombs, or a pound bombs, uh, 200 pound bombs, 500 pound bombs and 1000 pound bombs. And all kinds of combinations between those. So there is a, is, is a good selection in, from which you can choose. I ran basically in these matches with a 3x 1000 pound bomb. And that worked pretty well. I went off the bases and then I tried to get some fighters. And on my way back to base, let's say. Ammo load is also good on the plane. The acceleration in a straight line is average. In a dive it's actually pretty good uh, for a bomber, let's say. The energy retention in the horizontal is below average and in the vertical, well, we can call it bad, but for a bomber it's actually quite all right. The climb rate in the plane is below average, although again for a bomber it's decent. Turn time is bad, anything that uh, calls itself a fighter doesn't matter if it has one or two engines will easily turn inside you. Flaps rip off quite early at 370 kilometers an hour so that's not very good. The roll rate in the plane is very bad, it's absolutely atrocious, especially when you don't have altitude. Maneuverability overall is bad. The overheating, like I said, on the higher altitude is terrible. You really uh, cook the engines really fast there when running at 100%. You gotta run at 90 or even 80 when you get to 6500 meters to keep the engines from overheating. And uh, well, that's quite atrocious to the climb rate there as well. So, But you can climb to 6500 meters in the plane. That is uh, possible, maybe even 7000, 7500. The durability though is very good, it's a very rugged plane, it can soak a lot of damage and uh, but <laughs> that is nice of course that it can soak a lot of damage but if you have uh, a plane with several 20 millimeters or even 30 millimeters they're still, you know, they, they make a quick job of you anyway. 
So you gotta go and practice your gunnery skills in this thing and make sure that you can hit things reliably at a kilometer and a half. Maybe even start shooting at them from two kilometers to uh, discourage them getting closer to you and the more you practice that the better you get at it. But it's difficult and like I said in the beginning uh, playing bombers these days is not the easy thing to do these days because the gun buff that has uh, took place in this um, patch you know it really made the fighters more effective and they chew through your bomber a bit quicker than they used to so you really got to be sharp can you escape preferably without confrontation i always try to to go into confrontation and i did notice that this plane i also have a video up on the uh, the earlier b25 the one that comes before this one at 4.0 and I made that video a little earlier and I have a one to one kill death ratio in that thing I didn't even get to half that in, in this one and I think that has to do with the uh, the gun buff the cannon buff that uh, has taken place in this patch uh, it's more effective and you die more quickly and you have less chances to uh, to shoot people down and you gotta be exactly uh, sharp to uh, to do so if you do get them, and even here this guy is missing me, but he had a good few seconds on me. He did damage the hull, but if, we, if he would have shot at one of my wings or would have gotten a good hit on the tail, which he missed more or less, my bomber probably would have uh, ripped apart. But it didn't, so I'm still alive and I killed him. <laughs> but what you can do in this plane is definitely, you get a base every match basically. You usually get there before the, the bombers get to you, or the, sorry, the fighters get to you. And after that, very regularly, you also get a fighter. But sometimes you're just unlucky. In this match, look, I got a crit here, well, I got a good burst on him there. Uh, maybe some other time he does go down, who knows. Actually, if you look well, you see him going down at the end of this match. But uh, by then, we were already engaging another fighter. And here we get our second base in this match, so we already have an air target, we, we get two bases, we have a crit on that guy. Not bad so far, let's say, score-wise. It is a little longer match though, but uh, still. Another base destroyed. Not bad, and if you like bombers, and it, then the B-25 is definitely one of my favorite um, bombers to play because you can actually shoot back here as well here we are another example here of a little bit of um, unlucky uh, shooting because i do have the right range there i get him on the wing but i only get a hit unfortunately again that could have gone better if that 50 cal would have uh, netted me some more effect there. That, Maybe he would have gone down. Maybe he would have been crippled and that other guy could have already been dead. It could have been a much better fight. But that guy is going down. As you see, he's going down there. So, yeah. Maybe two kills this match. <laughs> we didn't get it though on the scoreboard. We've got 16,000 silver lines and 1,500 research points. And, uh, well, decent match for a bomber. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now the B25J20 Mitchell 4.3 battle rating. Definitely a fun plane. A bomber with options, let's say. You can use it as an attacker. You can go low to the ground. Use some other uh, bomb combination. Get more ground targets. You also have the forward facing machine guns. Which can net you a lot of uh, vehicles. You can play it like that. Or you can uh, take it up like me. Get a base every time. And, uh, you know, get get a, a, an air target every now, uh, every other match, let's say. And if you're a bit more lucky, you can get uh, a few more every uh, match or so. So there, it is a good plane. Uh, it is sturdy, but uh, it is a tough, a rough time at the moment flying bombers. And I found that out again in this plane, how bad it actually is in this patch. Because, uh, well, man, those... <laughs> Those cannons do rip through your plane more easily these days. This still is one of the nicer bombers, I would say. And uh, definitely a plane to go after. Also an iconic plane that definitely deserves your attention a little bit. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. 
If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.